Okay, seriously, Sony is doing something quite interesting, especially with this brand new product. I'm talking about the brand new Sony Inzone M9 gaming monitor. Yes, this is Sony's first gaming monitor in the market, and Inzone is a brand new line which will cover monitors and gaming accessories that are not necessarily PlayStation tied. Yes, Sony's actually doing that which I think is truly unique. So what do we have here and why is that so special? First of all, name instructor Sony. Thank you again for making it easier and not one of those random numbers you make. Now the M9 is the first gaming monitor, 27 inches, it's got really thin bezels, it's an IPS monitor. Now you've got a refresh rate of 144 hertz. So as a gamer, we love that. Higher refresh rates are better, right? But this thing packs so much under the hood that you will be impressed. It's priced at 899. Put that number in the corner here because everything I put into here, the closest match you're gonna find is roughly around 1200. So as I mentioned, it's got that. Then this also has a plethora of ports. You've got two display ports, a mini and a full display port. You've got three USB ports as well. And then you've got two HDMI ports. Those HDMI ports are HDMI 2.1, yes. This is why the title says it's the official PlayStation 5 monitor, because it supports HDMI 2.1, with of course VRR as well, G-Sync and Adaptive uh, uh, FreeSync, so Adaptive Sync as well. So which means you've got the connectivity to plug in your PlayStation 5 and you can start gaming. And honestly, this monitor looks really good because it's, it's a HDR 600 monitor, 600 nits. As I mentioned, that full array dimming does a really good job, especially when you're playing games like Call of Duty, and you know, there are a lot of dark scenes there and it really brightens up the environment. You can see things quite clearly and very well. I was truly impressed with what this monitor brought to the table and I think Sony knows that quite well. So what else makes it special? Well, let's not forget, this also has a built-in KVM, which means you can connect all your ports to the, key, to the monitor, say your keyboard and your mouse through those USB ports, and you can switch between system to system. So you can have, say, two PCs connected, and you can actually go through the two KVM ports altogether, which is nice. Now, on the PlayStation side of things, switching over to the PlayStation, you can have your PS5 and your PC connected like I do have here. But one of the cool things about this is that this monitor is calibrated off the jump, meaning full calibration for the monitor for both the monitor perspective as well as also for the PlayStation 5. And when you switch over to your PlayStation 5 for the very first time, it'll actually give you the prompt here that says, look, this monitor is calibrated for the use of your system. So you don't have to do any of those calibration steps. You can actually skip it and then just move forward to your gaming experience. Horizon West looks really nice. The colors are vibrant, 600 in HDR, uh, really shows up with this and you get full capabilities here. But of course, you have a PlayStation 5 and you want to use your streaming services. This monitor is also pretty smart as well. So yes, it is in game mode when you're actually on your PlayStation 5. And but when you go into say Netflix, it switches over to cinema, which means you, you don't have to do anything. It automatically does that for you. Now, speaking of switching from modes to modes and using the monitor, we all know monitors are built a certain way. And this one looks really slick, right? You've got this tri-stand look to it where it can slide up and down. You can tilt it up. You can kind of turn it left to right a little bit. And the two feet behind, there's one in front. It's very different design, but I do like the fact that the colors are matching the PlayStation 5. You've got a light strip behind, which is programmable and you've got a power button and of course that dreaded control stick. Except with this monitor, it's a little different. You can use that you know, control stick to change the monitor settings and there are quite a few, but Sony has the in-zone software you can download onto your PC and within the software, you can do everything you need to do to control the monitor. And I think this is a huge thing. The reason I love this is this in-zone software takes in all your in-zone um, products, so including the headset, but I'm not gonna show that now. Again, check out that video. But you can go into that software and you can play around with the KVM. So you can actually uh, decide which inputs you want for your KVM, maybe HDMI one, and then uh, display port for your two different systems you have, or whatever you want to do with that. You can also control the, uh, the lighting for 
you know, the light strip at the back of the monitor as well. So that actually is pretty cool. And then you can go into some of the display settings as well. And of course, customize your, your display settings for say FPS mode, for cinema, for all the different things you can calibrate it to match what you're looking for as well. So all that is done within the software and you can do it quite well. Now, when you're using the PlayStation 5, sadly you cannot, but again, it is properly calibrated for the PlayStation 5, whether you're watching movie content or you are actually gaming. Now, as a gamer, how does this actually feel? This thing is amazing. I was truly impressed with what this monitor brought to the table. Vibrant colors, super sharp. This thing was just rich and Honestly though, when having the PlayStation 5 next to it, it connected well and did a fantastic job. Now it does have built-in speakers and this is where my first criticism of this monitor is. I honestly tell you they are not that great and just take a listen for yourself. It's average at best. But look, you do have that gaming headset, which actually does a really good job from Sony or whatever headset you want to use with your PlayStation 5. Now, the other aspect to this monitor I would say is that although the stand looks pretty cool, I wish it was more of a linear stand. I kind of get that Sony wanted to do something differently. That's just something that I'm just not a big fan of. Now, if you guys are wondering, well, is this just for the PlayStation 5? No, you can connect your Xbox Series X to it if you want to. The only difference is that you do have to recalibrate the monitor for your Xbox. It doesn't have that automatic calibration that Sony does have with the PlayStation 5. But again, supports HDMI 2.1 to your Xbox Series X if you have that can connect and use with this monitor. I have got to say though, if you're a gamer, and you're looking for something that you can use at home and you wanna set up where your, all your, your, your gaming consoles pieces are all in the same place and you can use them effectively, the Sony InZone M9 is the gaming monitor to use. As I said, $899 is the price point where, just to reiterate, what you're getting is 4K 144 hertz, one millisecond response time, it's 600 HDR and it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, plus you do have a built-in KVM, which is something that you just don't see on a day-to-day -day basis and pure calibration for your PlayStation 5 and ease of use with that. I think this is a no-brainer for anyone who's looking to actually do some serious gaming. So guys, if you have any questions, any comments, or you want to know more about this monitor, monitor or you want to pick it up, use the links down below. I'm, truly I'm just truly surprised and impressed with what Sony has brought to the table. And I'm happy to see them take certain things seriously within this industry, especially when it comes to gaming. I mean, like, I mean, honestly, Sony hasn't had anything on the PC side of things, and this is going to show that, look, you can play games like Horizon West on your PC as well. So that is just the next step I like to see. So again, thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.